The fight for Kyrgyzstan is fought every day. The Ukrainian armed forces are trying to surround the city and isolate the troops stationed there. The command, however, warns that the liberation of the city may last until the end of November. Today, Moscow is talking about the alleged end of mobilization in its country. But we observe that the situation is different. Russia is trying to increase the pressure on our positions by using mobilized troops. But they are so poorly trained and equipped, so brutally used by the command, that the Kremlin may soon need a new wave of conscription for this war. We are preparing for this. We are preparing for the fact that the current Russian leadership will look for new opportunities to continue the war, including thanks to his partners in Iran. Therefore, we work with partners on a daily basis to strengthen our air defense and our other defense capabilities. Praise all those who help us fight for freedom. We have no doubts that the Ukrainian flag will return to all places in Ukraine. In the morning, Russian ships of the Black Sea Fleet, located in the Sevastopol Bay, were attacked in the Crimea. The attack was probably made using drones. This is reported by the Russian media. They also report that the Russian air defense fought off all attacks. No objects were damaged. The passage across the bay has been blocked. The Ukrainian armed forces do not comment on this event yet. There are currently nine military ships in the Black Sea, including one large landing craft and one submarine, carrying 12 high-precision caliber missiles. The Russians feared that we might destroy their ships if they entered the area of the Grain Corridors protected by international guarantees. Therefore, they do not dare to leave their safety zone and remain behind Cape Tarhankut. Ukraine replaced another 52 prisoners of war, officers, doctors, soldiers and civilians.